What's up everybody, my name is Lehua and welcome to the Super Fina channel. I am a Hawaii variety content creator, host of podcast Cross Worlds, and I stream on twitch.tv slash Lehua Super Fina. Today we are reviewing the scene for Magic Power is OP and if you like anime reviews, don't forget to subscribe, ring the bell so you can be notified on the next upload and if you would like to support the channel, we got channel membership and Patreon, link to those are below. We are reviewing the scene for Magic Power is OP episode 9. This episode was like, it just closed things and I'm going to explain why. So the last episode, say it was on the expedition with Albert and Yuri. Albert got hurt and say she wanted to help him save everybody in the expedition. She invoked the Saint Conjury. She invoked it, cleared out the miasma, healed people, a huge AOE happened and uh, it's official she is the saint of this episode episode nine I was talking about how say is the saint she has been acknowledged it is official yuri he saw the saint country he's like okay how'd you do it can you do it again but say she's like no i can't do it <laughs> he's like oh darn <laughs> he's like man i wanted to research this because I've never seen it before and I'll never probably I'll probably never see it again you know how Yuri is he's like just obsessed with magic I mean he is the grand mages next we got Prince Kyle so because they is officially the saint where is Ira in all this she is also someone who got summoned she's someone that Prince Kyle fought and said was the saint but now that say is she's officially the saint she's been acknowledged ira is not the saint what happens to ira and if you guys remember on prince kyle's episode he was worried what was going to happen to her not about himself but to her because he feels bad that she's been summoned taken away from her home she's in a foreign world and she is put this responsibility to use her, I guess her cheat skills. He doesn't call it cheat skills, I'm calling it cheat skills. He doesn't want her to be forced to put to work. That's one thing. He doesn't want her freedom to be taken away. That's another thing. And if she's not the same, he wants her to do what she wants to do, like vocation and such. So now he put in the act, he put in the act to make it look like it was his fault. He's to blame, not Ira's, so they can put all the responsibility onto him and not her. So this is where Prince Kyle has put an end to his crude behavior as Elizabeth called it. So he is putting a show. He's in the courtyard. He's talking to Elizabeth. Elizabeth and him, they're arguing. And Prince Kyle, his, <laughs> he's making himself look like such a jerk by saying, Elizabeth, you are trying to separate me and Ira. And Elizabeth's like, no, I just want to be friends with her. You know, I'm just trying to have some girl time with her. And Prince Kyle's like, oh, I know you've been jealous just because I've been with her so long, so many times. And Elizabeth, she's getting irritated. She's like, are you effing kidding me? Like, you can see that face. She had a the fa look. <laughs> and then we can totally tell that... Prince Kyle is in sort of like villain mode by how he like tucked the hair behind his ear. That is such a villain thing. <laughs> and then we see Ira in the back. She's like, oh no, I, I, oh. She has that, oh, what the heck is going on? Like, I don't want to cause trouble look. Then we see Stay. Stay's here. She stumbles upon this whole confrontation thing. It totally looks like it's being Stage. It looks like it's being staged. Everybody can see, and you can see Prince Kyle amping up the crude behavior. You can tell, and that's when you can see that he's like, "Okay, everybody, see how much of a jerk I am. See how pathetic Ira looks. We can tell, okay?" So he notices Say, and he's like, "Oh, who are you?" and that's when you really know he's putting up a show because we know he knows who Say is. Because he's been researching about her. He uh, 
had his people look up on her. He knows what she looks like. There was a picture he saw. So it's like, okay, this is this is the act. Prince Kyle, he's he's doing his thing. And he's about to touch her. I don't know what he was trying to do. Was he trying to look like he's gonna attack her? Was he trying to look like he's being aggressive with her? We don't know what he was really trying to do because all we saw was a hand reaching out and then Albert calls and it's like, back off, dude, back off. Man, that was like such a heroic moment. It was, <laughs> it was, to me, it looked like, don't touch my woman kind of thing. To others, it may look like, uh-uh, uh-uh, uh I'm saving her. It was slow motion. Had the echoing of the slapping away. Prince Kyle's arm sound. And then Prince Kyle's like, ah, oh shit. Like he had like a oh shit look. <laughs> then comes in the king, Prince Kyle's dad. And it's like, ooh. So the king comes in, he's talking to Prince Kyle, he's chastising on him. And Prince Kyle, he's saying all of these things, saying that they is not the same, it's Ira. And He's like, how can you be so insolent? How can you say that Say is not the same? She's done this, this, and this. Ira has not done any of it. Say has been acknowledged, etc., etc. And it's sort of like Prince Kyle was saying certain things to prompt the king to say a response. It's like Prince Kyle was controlling the conversation to make sure that the king was saying certain things to make Kyle look like the bad guy. And I think the king caught on to it because he asked Prince Kyle and Elizabeth to speak privately someplace else. In that private area, that private room, Prince Kyle reveals his plan. He tells him everything. I honestly did not expect that. I did not expect Prince Kyle to, I guess, bring his dad into the plan. I thought Prince Kyle was going to be like the little silent hero. You know the type of hero that does things in the background and no one knows their accomplishment because they're like, I am a secret hero. I don't know who else to say as an example, but I've seen this before. I've seen how someone that isn't looked on favorably does do good deeds, 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 deeds. <laughs> does good deeds in the background and was one of the key elements to make the story progress. What I learned is in the light novel and in the manga, Prince Kyle wasn't portrayed this as much. So I'm wondering if in the anime, they wanted to just showcase, to showcase how much of a key player Prince Kyle was. So in that scene of the private conversation between the king, Prince Kyle, and Elizabeth, Prince Kyle said, what I really want is for Ira to have her freedom. That's it. That That's the, the whole reason why I did this act. And the king's like, you got it. I'll give her her freedom. She can do whatever she wants. And Elizabeth, she can see how much compassion she's respecting him more. Because you can see in that confrontation, that little courtyard looking place, she was getting so mad. She's disappointed in Kyle. She's like, what are you doing? You can tell she had that face. But after this private conversation, she gained, or she gave more respect. Kyle gained back his respect from Elizabeth. And after that private conversation, Elizabeth and Kyle, they have their own little powwow. And Elizabeth's like, you were doing all this because da 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 Like she literally summarized his whole plan while he was doing this. And Prince Kyle's acting all cool. He's like, hmm. I don't know what you're talking about. And she's like, oh dear you. And it's like, they're back to how they would normally interact with each, with each other, which we have not seen. We have not seen how they acted or interacted with each other before Ira arrived. We don't know how their relationship was. We've only seen the relationship while Ira is there and Prince Kyle is having this act. In this scene, we have a glimpse how their relationship is, was. I don't know if it's going to continue because 
the king said that I will be under Prince Rain's care. So Kyle's out of the picture. Here comes Prince Rain. And the king also said that Elizabeth will be also taking care of Ira. So Ira, she's out of that boy group and in with Rain and Elizabeth. The next thing I want to talk about is the Klausner domain. We see this scene with the king. He's talking to his aide, talking about how all the different domains, the regions of the kingdom are requesting for Say's help. They're requesting for the saints to clear out the miasma, to purify the area, to help clear out the monsters. And the one area that they keep repeating is the Klausner domain. They keep saying, Klausner domain this, Klausner domain that. And it's like, okay, that's the next area we're going to guaranteed then we go to the next scene with say and our green-haired friend they're talking about how they're low on herbs and they're explaining that they're low on herbs because the closet domain <laughs> is being overrun with monsters the production of herbs is really low and the closet domain is called the alchemist holy land so it's like okay we're going to the closet domain next after that we get to the scene Rese is with Albert and Johan, and Albert's talking about how he's going on the expedition. He's going to the Klausner domain, and Say's like, oh, well, I'm going to, and they're like, what? What do you mean you're going? And me, as a viewer, I assumed that she was going to the Klausner domain because she's a saint. They need something, someone to clear out the monsters, the miasma. I figured she was going to go, but when they were both saying, what? You're going? What do you mean you're going? I was like, wait, what, 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 what? And it's revealed that they were fighting for her freedom to not go. They're like, we don't want to put that responsibility on you. We know you don't like people fussing about you. We don't want to put you in danger. So we've been fighting behind the scenes to make sure you don't have to go. But you know, if you want to go, you can go <laughs> and it's like oh so this whole time we know johan was fighting for her like from the beginning when she wants to stay at the research institute all the way to now we knew that johan was talking to the higher ups to help her out to make sure she's comfortable to make sure she's enjoying her time in this other world but it's also albert was doing that too so i was like oh that's really sweet stay has been surrounded with great people she's been so lucky and now she's going to the closet domain she's going with albert and she's going to be able to research the different herbs there learn about different potions because it's the alchemist holy land this is going to be her spot i'm really excited for this this is episode nine so we have about three more episodes i believe for the rest of the season i'm not just sure where this is going to go but you guys notice at the end of that opening scene they have this person shown they don't show the face but it's like okay maybe that person's from the Klausner domain that's going to be the next character we're going to encounter the reason why they don't show his face is because we haven't seen him yet and where have we not seen people Klausner domain I'm really excited I'm like <laughs> super excited for this and then another thing I want to talk about Ira. Ira is finally hanging out with girls! Hallelujah! She's got girl time! The last thing we see is Ira having tea with Say and Elizabeth. And this is a really good scene for her because now that she doesn't have Kyle saying she's a saint, she's a saint, she's a saint, now it's like, okay, what does she do? And it's that point where she makes her own choice because we've seen before how she's so used to people making choices for her on this one she's like i don't know what to do and say's like trying to help her and says okay i need to point this out say is super expressive she's been so expressive in this episode i even made a post in the community that showing all the different expressions she made she is so expressive that she's thinking how she's older than Ira and she doesn't know how to talk to her and she makes like a uh, look and Ira sees that face. 
she sees that expression and I was like, oh no! <laughs> so anyways, Say helps her and asks, well, what do you want to do? What do you like to do? Because Say, she got into potions because she likes making potions. She likes to make solutions and such. And I was like, well, I like magic. And Say's like, oh, why don't you just join the magic assembly? They, they do a lot of magic there. Magic research, enchantment, uh, the Grand Mages is there. And since the Grand Mages is there, I'm going to be there to learn magic from him. So we can hang out. You can learn magic from him too. And then we can have tea. And then we got Elizabeth making like a... So you guys are going to leave me out? Huh? That's not cool. When we finally got together, you guys are going to hang out without me. Really? And... Both say and I was like, no, 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 you can come too. You can come too. <laughs> and Iris is so cute. She says, you have to be there. You're my first friend. And Elizabeth is like really touched by that. And it's like, finally, they are friends. They've always wanted to be friends, at least from Elizabeth's side. Elizabeth wants to be friends with Ira. And Ira has always wants to be friends with the girls. And it's happening. So happy for Ira. Yay. And at the very last scene, after the credits, we see Say in a carriage and they're arriving in an area and they don't say what it is, but I'm pretty sure it's the Klausner Domain. And that's my review of the Saints Magic Part is OP Episode 9. What did you think about that episode? What did you think about this video review? Let me know in the comments below and if you want to talk outside of YouTube, we got a Discord. This current link is available in the description. I also stream on twitch.tv slash Superfina. People who watch these videos do like to stop by the stream, have that one-on-one -on -one real time conversation. You guys are more than welcome. Outside of YouTube and Twitch, I host podcasts across worlds where we talk about anime, manga, and other things we're interested in. If you like podcasts like that, link to the podcast is available in the description. We are available on all platforms. Other than that, my name is Lehua, and this is a Superfina channel reviewing the Saints Magic Power is OP episode 9. Hope you guys like this video, and I will see you on the next one. Later! Huge thanks to my Patreons and channel members for making this video possible. If you also want to be part of the Superfina party, you can click over here or become a channel member. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss the next video. And I do stream live on Twitch every Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. Hope to see you guys there, and I will see you on the next video. This bump.